This is why 90% of operators in service accommodation business fail. If you're new to this channel, this is actually episode four of this how to start the service accommodation business in 2024. And today was all about understanding Airbnb marketing and branding because the first series I did or episode I told you about why to start. Second episode, I talked about the property investing strategy. Third episode, we talked about the hospitality business itself. And today is the most important day because Later on this video, I'm gonna show you things that nobody actually talks about in our industry. I am the person who've started the profit pricing. I am the person who's talked about calendar management days in, days out. Your price lab, your uplisting, they don't have calendar management strategy. They're tools to do so, but you need a proper strategy in place to be able to achieve in that. And then also to understand those strategies, you need to understand what's happened, right? What's happened in your business or what understanding do you already have in your business to implement in that so i'm really excited you can see this is the topic that i really get passionate about i've got calls with clients every single day for this and i'm very fortunate to say we've you know we've had so many people getting those longer term bookings getting those profitable bookings and making their service accommodation business a success so let's dive into it and let's go through some processes now We are UK's number one short-term rental consultant helping people for this specific episode that I'm going to talk about, which is understanding the importance of Airbnb marketing and branding. I'm going to talk about the three stages that you need to focus on. The marketing, the advertising and the branding. And now these are all two service accommodation business only. Marketing for me in service accommodation business is when people go, oh, here's, I've listed on Airbnb and booking.com and I always say to them oh Kip, would you mind me having a look at it how do you normally get your bookings oh yeah we've listed on Airbnb I look at their listing it looks like 90% of other people's listing cover picture says pretty much like maybe their lounge or their bedroom on the description it's fully about their kind of little bit of property description like just a paragraph it just looks like other people's and their title in their Airbnb says luxury two bed house city center right very basic oh how do you normally then effectively get bookings Oh yeah, we also dropped price last minute because we're not getting any bookings. Great. That is what you call marketing. You, you've literally taken a platform, put everything you want in there from whatever you know or what you've been told by your mentorship and said, oh yeah, it does work. Believe it or not, this is the thing with Airbnb and Booking.com. They're so powerful because of the guests they attract or the types of guests they attract. It works amazingly well. However, you're now not thinking about the second stage, which is what I call the advertising stage on service accommodation business. 90% of operators stick to the marketing stage. There's another 5% which will go, oh, I need to do something different. So when it comes to advertising stage, you take an Airbnb ad and you boost it with so many information that really connects to your end guest. Monthly client, my clients do not do anything below seven nights. That's a strategy in place. That's an advertising strategy in place. We use the word relocation because we want to attract relocation clients. Uh, or actually on the Airbnb algorithm, we then take it from 20% off, which is whatever number they've put, picked up and said, oh, Airbnb is told to put us 20% off monthly discount. No, we work out the pricing, we add the profit, we add the fee, and we put a number to the pennies that matches exactly what we need to make. So much details you can put in advertising. We then go, well, that's the basic of Airbnb and booking.com. How about going into Google? Do we know how to list it on Google? Well, to be fair, we've done enough videos on Google. How do we make sure that Google SEO works? How do we make sure that we are inputting the right information so the outcome on Google in three to six months, if we do certain algorithm, will get you those organic searches, i.e. when I type in service accommodation in Liverpool, how do I make sure you're found? Or service accommodation in Chelsea, how do we make sure you're being found? It's such a unique way of advertising. And then what I do with my clients is I do branding. I take everything from day one on their audit call, understanding their logo, their brand name, their brand message, why them over their competition, what have they been currently doing, what platforms are they actually doing, what, who is your guest behavior, lead time, length of stay. We put everything together on day one to understand who or what our customers are doing. And what we do is we want to do something once in advertising 
or marketing stage, that should pay my client again and again. A perfect example is on your Airbnb profile, you can go in and write your company name and also mention saying, this is the call to action you want to do. Book direct, find us, company name on your Airbnb profile. What can happen is they can then Google your company name, find your Google information and book you direct. Guys, we have made clients a thousand of pound by doing branding. We put that once, which now pays off again and again. So we're now doing a, a strategy that's do, you know, you can look at someone's uh, Airbnb profile today. 99% will not have their brand name on it. What a simple way of getting diverting direct bookings to guests right? It is the most simple way. And I'm so, so passionate about what we do in Grow BNB at the moment. These are simple things that our guests, our, our clients are not doing. And we take pride on making sure that we are doing it to the best of the best for our clients. So when they go in an investment area, they are very, very unique. So guys, two things I would love you to do. Firstly, my direct WhatsApp is there. I want you to ask me questions. Watching all these videos are great. I want you guys to take actions. I love, love communicating with as many people as possible. Now I've started WhatsApp. You can send me a private message. You can ask me any questions from this series I've done. This is the last one we've done, right? We've got three videos that we've already launched. And this is the last episode today, which is the episode number four around branding and marketing. I would love you to do a little favor for peers because what we've been doing is over the last few years, we haven't really had any, any big difference on YouTube because all we say is, here you go, there's a content, please enjoy it. So we've got over 60% of new viewers who do not actually subscribe to our channel. They watch our video, probably enjoy it. They probably connect with me a little bit more, but they don't hit subscribe button. So I would love you to take time to hit that subscribe button. We really take pride on the videos we create for you. The information we try and give you our information. I can guarantee you that your mentors will not cover to the details that we are because we physically get to work with a accounts all the time. So guys, thank you so much for watching another Grow Your BNB video. It's been an absolute pleasure making this series around how to start your service accommodation business in 2024, especially giving you the full end-to-end -end information and trying to help you make that right decision, not investing money, £3,000, £5,000 in mentorship. It's an easy game if you understand what I've just explained to you. It needs time, needs effort, needs more research. My channel's all about that. I've got every single single video you want in my channel so please go and check it out please make sure you comment down below which one was your best episode thank you so much for watching please make sure you hit that like subscribe and share and i'll be back with another video soon